Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing these really cool books that I got from National Geographic. This one is United States Atlas, and this one is Weird But True Facts Daily Planner. So I'm going to start with the Daily Planner, and it's really, it's, um, you see the size of my hand, so it's kind of moderately sized. It's not really super large, but it's not really tiny either. And Basically, this is just a standard daily planner. It has 365 days to fill, and um, it does not have any year attached to it, which I think is really cool. Like, it's not a 2016 yearly planner or 2017 or 2018. Um, it's just a yearly planner, and you can use it as you see fit for any year. So, um, it has a lot of animals on it, which is really nice. You have the two little lion cubs here, and you have a giraffe here. And then you have on each page so basically um each spread encompasses four pages so it's two uh, four days so it's two days per page and then on uh, the pages like on each each spread there's fact so for example in Peru it's considered good luck to wear yellow underwear on New Year's Day and some companies make underwear out of bamboo so you get two kind of facts there that are a little different but are connected in theme. So um, the Olympic torch has been to space. And then up here, uh, Olympic gold medals are actually more than 90% silver. So the book really goes on like this. There's some photos, like there's two adorable turkeys here. And it says, turkeys might be the symbol of Thanksgiving, but what animal would you pair with your own made up and obviously super weird holiday? Why? So it essentially gives kids the opportunity to write their thoughts into the book. And that's a really nice thing. I mean, this is a, this is probably for age range of maybe like uh, 8 to 12. So writing this stuff down, having the opportunity to do something like that is kind of cool. Because then you can keep the book and look back on it years later at what you wrote, um, which is nice. Oh, and then the fact for this is only male turkeys gobble, females click. So you have him saying gobble, 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 and her saying click. So that is just it. This is just a general idea of what it looks like. The oldest valentine in existence was written in 1415. There were two kissing puppies. Cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's really nice. I, I enjoy this. It's got, um, you know, like, if, for example, like up here, this is June. So it would say June 4th. And then you could circle what day of the week it was. And then what you were doing. Or your thoughts for the day. You could even use this as a diary rather than a daily planner, honest, honestly. So I do like this. It retails for about $10. And you can find it at Walmart, Target, or on Amazon. So it's very nice. Then we have this. This is the United uh, United States Atlas from National Geographic. And this I really, really like. I mean, this is something that, I know it says National Geographic Kids, but honestly, this is something that's interesting even for adults. Like the facts in here are fantastic. So what I'll do is just open this up and I'll explain how this is. So right now I open it up to the page that's Massachusetts. So it gives you like a map of the state and it tells you all the big areas in the state. Um, and then it will also give you certain facts. Like it will tell you a little bit about the demographics of the people that live there. So for example, a lot of people in Massachusetts have um, European ancestry. So it's like 22% Irish, 13% Italian, 10% English, you know, and so on and so forth. It will tell you a little bit about the industries here. Uh, like these guys are farming cranberries. I will show you a little bit about the animals there, like seagulls and whales that you sometimes see off the coast. Um, this is the chickadee and the mayflower, which is the state bird and flower. And then it will just also tell you things like it will give you the map of the state. And then it will tell you things like when it became a state, like in this case it was February 6, 1788. Um, it will tell you how, how much land the state takes up, the population, the largest city, um, the racial and ethnic groups, um, foreign born, urban population. So just really cool bits like that. And every single, well, this here uh, shows the Southern United States is highlighted here, as you can see. And then here it's just highlighted with a little bit more detail about the cities and the, uh, like for example, like Montgomery, Alabama, and um, Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah, and then when you go here, 
it will just tell you very you know similar facts like for example on this page here we're going into the southeast so it will tell you a little bit just about the southeast in general and then when you turn the pages you get specific states like Alabama and South Carolina and the states are listed uh, alphabetical order basically it's broken down into the sections of the United States that the states in and then each section the states are listed in alphabetical order so I really like this I think it is really really well done I love the photos I love the information it's really interesting and um, very easy to read very very well put together and I would definitely recommend this for anybody like as I said even though it says National Geographic kids this is great for pretty much all ages like any even adults could find this of use um, but I would say the youngest kids that this is good for is probably like you know seven or eight would probably be the youngest age range that I would give this to but then it could just you know go up indefinitely like this would even be great for high school kids so these two books are part of a larger series from National Geographic and they are an absolutely fantastic company and I would recommend their products to anybody. Uh, this one retails for about $10, this one retails for about $12, and they are available in most major stores, as I said before, like Target, Walmart, uh, you can find them on Amazon. If you Google them, they come up in a lot of different places. So I definitely enjoy these and I would recommend them. So thank you for watching and check my channel for more videos very soon. Bye!